All right, let's do it. Now this video might surprise you guys. I'm sure a lot of people think I'm gonna talk a lot of shit, but I probably won't. And in case you guys are wondering in the background, I will be training, uh, I guess you can call this me training invention at the moment. Um, so pretty cool, but I don't wanna show this screen for too much. And plus the screen is much larger than it should be, but uh, well, the RuneScape screen. So I'm gonna give you guys, I guess, my opinion on invention, AKA the new skill. Now, obviously, I could talk about when it was first released and how broken it was and retarded. Um, I, th there's just way too much to say, obviously, and it's going to all be negative things for that. So I don't want to stay on that topic for too long. But yes, when Adventure was released, they did not test it anywhere close to the way they should have. And what's even more funny is that if you abuse it a lot, then you basically secure whatever rank you are at the moment because... You, you were getting like over 10 plus mil XP per hour when Invention was first released. Within the first few hours, people found out methods that are 10 mil XP an hour. Um, and now it's maybe maximum like 1 mil XP an hour, which is still really OP. But I think they're going to probably be fixing that sometime soon. But as far as the first few days of Invention being released, I, I, I don't know what to say. Besides probably goes down in history as one of the worst updates in RuneScape as far as the starting of it goes. Uh, it is definitely on the same level as when EOC came out into the game. Uh, obviously, it was a dramatic change to the game. Uh, Invention was very similar, even though it's not really a, like a different game or anything. But every single item in the game was affected by Invention. Maybe not every single item, but like literally probably more than at least half the items. And RS3 has a bajillion items. But yeah, in case you guys weren't aware, the first day of Invention, the first like two or three days before they fully fixed the... Uh, extremely dice method of it or whatever would have been uh, people buying cannons, obviously hand cannons. They were like 30 or 40k each and then they skyrocketed to one mil. Uh, rock climbing boots, winky wink. You gotta wonder with updates like this, is there a possibility that they they knew this was gonna happen and some type of JMOD invested? Because, I mean, that's huge. And of course it would be an item that's originally 30k to skyrocket to one mil because it's like the best item. Um, so obviously probably some conspiracy theories there, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were true. But yeah, the method, uh, I believe, was when you broke down a cannon, a hand cannon, it gave you like gunpowder or some crap like that. Uh, and uh, I believe that's how people basically just made like the gizmos or some crap and then they just destroyed them. Uh, and just, it's basically like construction almost. You just uh, dismantle things until you can make them, then you make them and you destroy them and you just continue making more. It's very similar to uh, construction, just on a much higher GP per XP level. I was being told it was roughly 60 or so GP and XP. I'm not 100% sure um, how true that is. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, hand cannons reached a little bit around 1 mil each. Uh, Ganodermic boots and gloves reached like 500k each, or even 700k, I believe. And they were originally like 5k each. So, um, you know, that skyrocketed. I don't know how many hundreds of times that is more expensive, like 130 more times more expensive. But yeah, I don't know exactly why Jax didn't hotfix the method that people were doing for like 10 mil XP an hour or like 8 mil, whatever the fuck it was. Not only is that really embarrassing, now all the old school players are just looking at this going, lol. I mean, if you ever want to get some old school players to start playing RS3, that's not the way to go. But uh, yeah, complete embarrassment to the game, I would say, that people uh, basically achieved 120 invention the first, first 20, well not the first 24 hours, but the first... Uh, 40 something hours or 40 hours roughly uh the first 24 hours uh 50 million experience was achieved and obviously at the lower levels it was a little bit slower so and no one had no idea what they were doing if they knew about that method right from the starting it would have probably taken them maybe 12 hours probably to get 50 mil xp uh but obviously people had to find the method and things like that anyways i don't want to get too negative like i said but complete fuck up on their part from what i've heard they had just one jmod testing it i have no idea how true that is but um, there's no way they had just one JMod testing the biggest game change basically since EOC. I don't know if I believe that, but the outcome of it seems like that might actually be true. I don't know how they can spend so much time making a new skill, coming up with all the ideas of it, and then not spending even just a hundred hours testing it out themselves and just looking at all the possibilities. It just, you can work as hard as you want for an update, but if you didn't test it and it comes out to be a complete flop, no one's going to say a single good thing about the skill. So make sure you test it because that really defines whether if people are going to be impressed or depressed. Now, currently the way for invention until at least it might get changed one more time, I have no idea. Um, but basically at the moment, let me just move the screen over. Um, so as of right now, I am just using, uh, yeah, like Bandos and Varix basically. Um, and then I have like the Noxious Scythe. 
Uh, and I'm doing Siphon for my Noxious Scythe once, once it gets to level 10. And I believe level 12 in the future once I hit 60 Invention or something. But yeah, the way you train it is technically what I've been asking for for like years. I've been preaching it, which is an item sync. And that's exactly what Invention is. It is um, obviously not just the dis dismantling part of like random items to get random components, basically. Uh, but the actual training of it is now basically... The only way you can train it through combat is you have to use this item on a uh, level tier or tier 70 plus armor, basically, uh, which basically just means barrels plus barrels, uh, port gear, I believe you can use it on. Um, I don't think you can use it on tier 90 gear. I'm not sure about raids gear. I have no idea. Probably not. I have no clue. But um, obviously, most people are just using like Ganodermic armor. Um, they're using like Staff of, the, Staff of Light, I believe. Uh, they're using crystal weapons, which were always really cheap, but now they're expensive. Um, but it's basically sinking a bunch of items out of the game as far as armors and things like that go. And that's exactly what the game has needed for a long time. So like I said, like I, this idea of the skill was amazing, but the way they executed the first few days was just awful. I would say it was a very laughable skill, but now it's to a point where it's actually, it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually not bad the way it is. I think they're gonna nerf the way you gain XP at the moment as far as like the scale you gain it on. Uh, when you dismantle uh, level 10 armor um, and you like lose the armor, obviously, it, you get like 540k XP from dismantling it at level 10. And it doesn't take that long to get to level 10 on the armors. As you see, I'm just doing combat stuff. I'm not sure exactly what's the best. I believe air roots are probably the best, but I'm trying to AFK while playing uh, old school, so I'm not going to fuck around with air roots while you know, doing Slayer. It's not really possible. Um, at least I don't think it is. And I guess the way I thought it was going to be from what they originally said, uh, it, it did come out to actually become that type of method. I don't know what the first few days was. It was a huge hiccup, I guess. Um, they clearly just did no testing, like I said. Uh, but the idea of the way you train it now, it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Basically, where you train Slayer or you train combat somewhere, uh, you get a lot of combat XP, and then you can uh, level up your weapons, I guess, and then lose your weapons or your armor, and then uh, you just get XP from it. So... Um, basically you're switching your armor for XP, so it's like an item sync and you're gaining XP from it. So it is considered a viable, obviously, at, at that point, because, you, you know, you're not really skilling, you're just, um, it, it's very similar to Silverhawks, believe it or not, even though that is such an embarrassment to say. Uh, you buy armor, you go at, you go throughout your day that you would normally do, uh, you do Slayer, just get these level, uh, tier 70 armors instead of tier, uh, like 90 or 80, whatever you're using for Slayer. Um, and then that's it. You just do that the whole time and then you gain invention XP once you're done with it. Um, so it's kind of like Silverhawks basically where you wear it while you're skilling and then you get agility XP throughout your day and everything. But apart from them probably nerfing the XP that you get currently from dismantling level 10 armor, which is 540k like I said, they're probably going to just nerf that to a lower XP rate or they're going to make it so it takes longer to get to level 10. I would kind of hope they make it longer to get to level 10 because if they make it, uh, I'm, the hell, I'm so distracted by this, um, but if they make it so it gives you less XP, it's just going to mean that the GP per XP is going to increase like crazy probably. And uh, if they make it just take longer, then it's probably, it might have been decreased a little bit if they do that, just because uh, the armors will last for a longer time, which means it's uh, sinking less of the item as quickly as it used to be. But this update did definitely prove that JX doesn't properly test things. Even if they test it, I don't know what that word exactly means to them. But it's, it's not making one JMod test the entire update. You, like, you literally have to put half your goddamn JMod staff on testing it just for a few days. And then if it's good, then like the whole update will be taken as a good update. Because most people saw this skill as a complete joke. Even though it's now good, it's been revived, sort of. Um, but the first few days already set people's tone towards how crappy JX basically is. And I think one thing they're going to also probably change is being able to use it on whatever armor and weapon you want. Maybe not under tier 70. I mean, I don't know who the hell wants to use tier 60 weapons, though, with, like, you know, just to get invention XP. Like, there's no DPS in that. You're going to get such bad combat XP per hour, and I would believe that's even less invention XP per hour. That's why I'm using a scythe at the moment. I'm getting half the XP from my scythe, but... I mean, at least I'm getting, like, good combat XP. I don't want to, like, risk losing combat XP just to get a bit more invention XP when um, you're never going to need to train invention post 200 mil all unless you're obviously already 5.2 or you have no combat skills or slayer left um, because it's basically, like, the hit point skill at the moment. It's uh, You have to train combat to, to gain levels, but you don't ever actually train the stat. Now, the main reason I'm training at the moment is because I think it's extremely OP how much of an XP drop you get when you're done. 
Um, so I'm going to train it until they probably uh, nerf the XP drops or uh, make it so it takes a lot longer to train your armor up to then. Then I'll probably just go and do Slayer on that account because it's like 92 mil Slayer, I believe. Didn't buy any Slayer dummies, I completely forgot. But yeah, I'm not going to lie, the way this skill is currently, like I said, minus the XP stuff, um, I, I, think it, I think it's good, honestly. Like, it's exactly what the game needed. Big item sync. Um, as far as the reason why I'm using a tier 90 at the moment, um, obviously there's two options when you get your, your armor and weapons to level 10, is you can either lose the item completely and gain full XP for it, or you can get half the XP drop but keep the item. So obviously you don't want to lose 130 mil item just to get an extra 300k invention XP or whatever, 270k invention XP. Um, so basically what you do is you use an item on the Noxious Scythe or the tier 90 weapon that's level 10 um, and then you basically uh, buy it in a GE or you can make it. It costs about 2 mil to make it probably and when I mean that I mean basically you have to dismantle things like uncut diamonds or cut diamonds and then you have to dismantle some other things uh, to make the item and then basically it comes out to like costing 2 mil basically so that's like another awesome perk there is that they're sinking all these cut gems out of the game um, just to get the components to make this item that you can use on the tier 90 weapons uh, so you can just siphon the xp i guess off of it and then you just get the weapon back but yeah, honestly they they fixed it i guess um i still will never understand why they rush updates that are quite important especially um, eoc was extremely rushed obviously i don't want to talk about the past like that but that was the most rushed update i've ever seen for how big of a impact it had on the game uh, and this was, believe it or not, one of the biggest changes as well to the game. And it looks like they spent a, a day with one JMod testing every method or some crap. Like, no one's holding a gun to JX's head saying, if this update doesn't come out soon, I'm quitting. Like, who the fuck? No one's saying that. I don't know why they feel so rushed to, to do huge updates. Spend all the fucking time you want on these kinds of updates. Look how good old school is doing. A few updates once a month, and it's keeping its players. Like, they feel like the whole qu the quantity and quality thing, like matters like no one cares how often an update comes out no one quits over that shit it's just depending on how good the update is if people see shit updates like this come out that's gonna make them quit i don't care if it took you guys an extra month to make invention as long as it comes out nicely and properly and it's not and it's well balanced at least then there's no issue like i don't i don't know why they feel so rushed this skill could have been perfect on the day of release and it would have not have been a joke nobody would have made fun of this skill it would have been a perfect skill because that's basically what it is now um, but since, you know, like, I mean, it's like first impressions matter. Well, the first impression of this skill was 10 mil XP an hour, 50 mil XP the first day. Everyone thinks it's a complete joke. And for some people, it, it still will be because those people now that have gained 100 mil XP the first few days, um, you won't be able to catch them up no matter how long you play. You cannot catch them up as long as they play like a little bit every day. They're going to be maintained their ranks no matter what. But yes, that is my opinion on invention. Uh, it's very good now. Uh, I feel like they're going to nerf a few things. Like I said, I hope that they make it soon where you can basically just use whatever armor and weapons you want and get more than half the XP that you're getting. Like right now, if I dismantle my level 10 scythe, I get 270k XP instead of 540k. Um, I'm hoping in the future they don't make it a 50% gap there. Uh, maybe make it like a 20% gap because I have to spend like 2 plus mil to, to do that. And, uh, you know, I don't think that's really worth it in most cases if you're just going for invention XP, I guess. But um, I think I think that they might change that a little bit. Um, but the, as far as the item to dismantle it, uh, that might crash a little bit depending on if they change the components that you need to make it. It requires a lot of, not a lot of components, but a lot of just one component that is really hard to get because it's like under the rare slot as far as when you break down items like gems. Um, so that's why it's really expensive because you have to break a lot of gems in order to get the the number of components it requires. So uh, that's why it's like two plus mil. I think it's two point six in the GE right now. It might go down over time. It might even be a good thing to make money for it now. You just dismantle items, see how much money you spend, and then you can make the item. Maybe you make like one mil every time you make the item. Who knows? But yeah, my only tip to Jax would honestly just be don't rush things. I mean, if I were to make a poll, which you don't even need to because it's common sense, if I were to make a poll right now saying, should Jax take an extra month to work on this update to make it perfect, or should they release it broken, there's going to be maybe like 1% people that say, bring it out now broken, just because they want to see how funny it is. Uh, nobody in their right mind would say, yeah, bring out a broken skill, don't work an extra month on it. Um, so I, I just don't get why they're they're just rushing things. Maybe they feel like they're not rushing and it's perfect, but 
I mean, you should have put a whole stop on invention as soon as you saw people doing 10 mil XP an hour and getting 50 mil XP the first day. There should have, honestly, there was a big talk about a rollback, and I think at this point that would have been a perfect time to do a rollback. Not too late where it's, you know, it's just one day. Uh, just do a full day rollback and release the skill again, or keep the skill not released yet and work on it because that was the biggest joke I've seen in my life. But anyways, that is all I have to say about the new skill invention. It is a pretty sweet skill now. At least in my opinion, it's, it works pretty perfectly, and it's exactly what I've been wanting forever. It's an item sync, um, so to me, I think it's amazing. It'll it'll do good for the game in the future, but as of right now, it completely fucked up the economy. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next video. I'm gonna probably die here at Jad of an AFK too bad. I haven't drank any brews yet though, so I'm pretty impressed. But anyways, I'll see you guys. All kinds of games in this motherfucking bitch. If you watch the whole video, tell me what you think about invention, and I guess you fucking bitch hitting times on me. Uh, and I guess tell me uh, what your level in Invention is as well. I'm going to probably work towards getting 99 just so I can get my max skill back on my newbie account. And then I'll probably take a break and just wait to see what happens with the skill. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. All right. Last time I made a video, I, I, I acted like I was ending it 10 times. So let's keep talking for another 20 minutes. Lego.